summary let us summarize what we have learned markets that we visit for our daily needs are of many kinds shops local hawkers stalls weekly market a large shopping complex or even a mall weekly markets do not have permanent shops these usually open late in the day and then close late in the evenings a variety and choices of things are available at cheap rates in the weekly markets apart from the weekly markets there are shops that sell goods and services in the neighborhoods shops in the neighborhood are useful they are near our home and we can go there on any day of the week the buyer and seller are often known to each other and based on mutual trust these shops also provide goods on credit malls are urban markets that sell both branded and non branded goods the people in between the producer and the final consumer are the traders every city has areas for wholesale markets goods first reach here and are then supplied to other traders orders for a variety of things can be placed through the phone and the internet and the goods get delivered at home there are also markets where many goods that are bought and sold are not used by us directly for example a car factory purchases engine gears petrol tanks axles wheels etc from various other factories thus when selling happens it encourages production and new opportunities are created for people to trade and earn